The last unit from the northwest returned from Afghanistan today. The 44 medics that make up the 207 Manchester Field Hospital have been there for four months. They'll now go back to their day jobs as doctors, nurses and paramedics. Abby Jones reports. They came back to applause, waves and banners, then hug after hug, smiles and tears. They just kept coming. I can't really put it into words. It's, it's not an expression that you can sort of explain to people how it feels. It's just, I'm ecstatic to be home. Long time coming. These men and women usually work in NHS and private hospitals across the northwest, but since October they've been using their skills at the British Military Hospital in Camp Bastion in Afghanistan, the world's busiest trauma hospital. Oh, it's been immensely rewarding for me to select these people and to find that every single one of them has gone above and beyond what I would have expected. They're, they're really, you know, my, I'm bursting with pride for them really, they're, they're, they're a superb bunch of people. These men and women have been away since October for four months and that means they've been away over Christmas. But many of them have pledged that they'll still have an alternative Christmas in the next few days with their loved ones. Others like Corporal Tristan Jackson, a nurse in Stockport, have a wedding to plan. He proposed just before Afghanistan. He and his fellow medics now have a few weeks off with their delighted families before they have to return to the day job. Abby Jones, BBC Northwest Tonight, Stretford. A team of territorial army medics from our region are home after four months in Afghanistan. There were moving scenes earlier this evening as men and women from 207 Manchester Field Hospital came back from the British military hospital at Camp Bastion in Helmand Province to the headquarters in Stretford. It's awesome to get home. It's a bit sad to leave everybody back there, you know. Uh, less than really good mates back there, still doing a fantastic job, but it's great to be back home with the family. How good is it to be home? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's great. It's just a wonderful feeling. Can't believe I'm home, actually. <laughs> Good evening. Medics from across the northwest who've been saving soldiers' lives in Afghanistan were given a rapturous reception as they paraded through Bury this afternoon. The soldiers from 207 Manchester Field Hospital spent four months running the British Military Hospital at Camp Bastion. Peter Marshall reports. In weather as warm as the reception, the men and women of 207 Field Hospital were cheered through the streets. It's nice that the sun's out and there's a few people here to support them and show uh, how much they appreciate their efforts. I think they're doing a wonderful job. I just wish they weren't there. The TA volunteers normally work as nurses, doctors and paramedics in the NHS and private hospitals. From October to January, they ran one of the busiest trauma hospitals in the world at Camp Bastion. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Um, they really have um, risen to the challenge and I'm immensely, immensely proud of them. Hospital. They were presented with medals and held a service of thanksgiving before marching through the streets. It was absolutely wonderful, tremendous, the amount of um, response we got from people. Barry really have done us proud today. I could hear the cheers and the, and the thanks, lots of people saying thank you and well done, which, which really uh, brought a lump to the throat. Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest Tonight, Barry. Good evening and welcome to the news and sport from ITV Granada. Medics from the Territorial Army marched through Bury today to show their thanks for the support they received during their gruelling four-month tour of Afghanistan. The members of 207 Manchester Field Hospital are all volunteers and are made up of doctors, nurses and paramedics who usually work across our region. Our correspondent Rob Smith was there to meet them. Honouring those at home who never forgot them as they saved lives in a far-flung desert. The medics of 207 Field Hospital volunteered to go to Afghanistan. Ordinary NHS doctors and nurses who joined the Territorial Army to keep young men and women from dying after the worst of war. Medals given by the great and good. Songs of thanks sung by hundreds. Every moment in Bury filled them with pride. I've got butterflies at the moment and my little heart is racing. I just can't put it into words. I really can't. That amazing a feeling. Yeah, it's really wonderful. 
the people that have turned out, to, to, one, to welcome us back, and two, to thank us for the work that we did. It makes you ten foot tall. I'm really, really pleased. A thank you to the people of this town has become a thank you from them. Gratitude for contribution to a cause. Gratitude for life's sake. How big a thank you is it today? Oh, it's massive, isn't it? Because if they weren't there, then we'd, we'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? Just to let them show, know that people are appreciative and understand what they're going through. Well, we don't really know what they're going through, but we try and understand. It's all in the news how terrible the injuries are out there, so I think uh, they're doing a fantastic job, especially if they're territorial, they're not, it's not their full-time job, and they're doing an amazing job. Many of these medics say they would swap home for Helmand again, support here and saving lives there, a combination to tell their grandchildren about. Rob Smith, Granada News, Bury. Detectives investigate.